Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and a new campaign as the Germans in 1910. Yes, believe it or not, uh, off camera I have been uh, trying to unlock some of the start use which doesn't seem to work for me at the moment on version 94 for the UK. I'm still stuck on 1890 but I have been able to uh, progress as Germany which is nice. So we're going to go eight, uh, 1910, so World War One era. And uh, I'll leave all the rest on and I will create my own fleet. So let's jump into the design. Now, I'm, I think I know what kind of ships I'll have access to. Um, so we have, yeah, we have dreadnoughts, battle cruisers, ooh, armoured cruisers, semi-armoured cruisers, light cruisers and destroyers and large torpedo boats. Okay. Um, Small dreadnought. Oh, that's very interesting. Right, let's go for the uh, Odin. Let's go for our uh, big Millie. Shush! I'm trying to record, for goodness sake. Um, oh, those are funky towers. Again, we're looking for base accuracy. Look at that. Four, eight, eleven. Tw let's go for twelve. Accuracy is. Super, super important. We get turbines. Lovely. Hawks diesels. I like that. Um, electro hydro turning is very, very good. Especially when you combine it with all the other stuff. Wonderful. Okay, secondary tower. Yeah, that one is significant. <coughs> Excuse me. Significantly better. That gives me up to 68 smoke. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, can I fit three large wide funnels? Potentially. No, that's 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 way too much. What about a medium and a large wide? Close. What about medium and a wide? That is, that's fine. I can I can live with that. It's not the prettiest in the world. But uh, I'll live. I'm going to try and sort out that four-way offset a little bit with the uh, towers, which does seem to help when you're trying to balance out the rest of the ships. So, we'll go with that, and then... Oh, wow, we have 13 Mark Threes. Yes, please. And we have the barbettes to put them on. Oh, very nice. Uh, medium one should be enough. Very simple, ABXY with the 13s, lovely. Okay, yeah, I can see that being uh, pretty good, main armament. Uh, torpedo launchers, oh no, mm, dreadnoughts, I'm not, not convinced they'll be useful. Um, casements, we'll go with some 4-inch. So we can shoo away uh, destroyers and now have a little bit of a full weight offset. That's fine. I, I kind of like that. That's that's fine. That's absolutely fine by me. Um, all right, let's get the rest of the ship built out. Oh, Krupp armor. Very nice. Um, ah, okay. Picric acid. TNT one. What tonight? That does give me 10% pen and damage. That gives me more damage, but no extra pen. But it does reduce me exploding. So... I think I'm going to go with TNT 1. Enhanced reloading, a rangefinder. Oh, all this stuff. Brilliant. Uh, 
repellent. Hmm. So I can either have range, accuracy, pen, show weight, and muzzle velocity. More range, more pen. But uh, noticeably bigger exploding numbers. Or damage. Uh, I'm going to go with the white powder, I think. Stick with the white powder. Um, I know I'm going to be very close to be going overweight. Stand up. No. Heavy, heavy bobbits. Might actually be worth it. Anti torpedo, definitely worth it. Uh, we'll go for standard bolt kits. Millie, are you serious? No, I thought not. Uh, such a little so and so you are. Wait till I'm recording uh, an episode one as well. You know, can't wait till like episode twelve to um, start causing a, a bunch of fuss. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, speed. Even on natural boilers, I think I can get these things to go at a reasonable speed. Yeah, 20, 23 knots is, is more than acceptable. And I am aware I am horrendously overweight. I think standard bolt kids and standard range should should do that. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Um, and I do have radio. I still don't think it's worth it. Communications range. We don't, I still am not sure what that actually does. So we'll leave that off for now. Um, let's get these guns armoured. 13 should be fine. What kind of deck pens are we talking about with these guns? It's about 3 inch effective, so yeah, 2 and up. 3 will be fine on the top. Uh, 1.5 is probably enough on the decks. Uh, got a little bit more extended belt, actually. And more main belt, definitely 12. Okay, four and a half on the four belts. Casements should be fine. I think that'll do. The Odin. Yeah, no chance of increasing that. But still, uh, 12,300 kilometers is, is good. Is a good range, for sure. We'll just uh, try and stick on a little bit more. There we go. And see if we can sort out that offset. Now that's as far back as it'll go. There we go. Perfectly balanced. The Odin class, 20 million. Okay, I have to wait until I get to the finances uh, to, to have a look at that. So we'll save that. We're also going to build a small dreadnought. Now, the Odin here is 25,000 tons, just under. Um, but the Beowulfs, I want to be a much, a much more compact design, a cheap, cheaper battleship, if you will. Uh, but it will still be very capable, I feel. Uh, basically, a cut down version. So I'm not, I'm not going to spend uh, too long talking about all the design choices on these. Um, probably just go for a big funnel. Yeah. Make them much more compact. By the way, if you've been having uh, trouble balancing ships, you call patch one, where your funnel is, I think determines where the engines are inside your ship. So you, you want to make sure that your engine rooms are pretty central. Otherwise, uh, balancing the rest of the ship out can become pretty hard. Uh, these things, though, are going to be much, much faster. They're basically battle cruisers at this point. Yeah, there we go. 20, 28.5 knots. That's insanely fast. I'm mainly thinking of these things to chase down and uh, take out uh, enemy, well, yeah, enemy cruisers and the like, while still being uh, pretty bulky. I guess that's the 
Wagon. Right. I think. inch guns might actually be just about enough. A bit weird. I'd like a th I'd like a third one. I'm just not sure I can get it in <laughs> on underweight at all. Pr almost certainly not. No, we've got 2% left. Oh, Millie. Yeah, these are not going to be as well armoured. But I wouldn't say they're badly armoured. Hmm. Yeah, another gun turret is just going to be too much. We'll go for uh, just a little bit more on the belt. Millie, shush! Goodness me. Silly dog. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm 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 happy with that. Oh yeah, uh, secondary guns. <laughs> that might help. Uh, one more. We do not need them to be that well armoured. Only four-inch guns. Uh, Give a little bit off the superstructure, usually enough. There we go. Okay. Uh, move that back a bit. So I can move this in a bit. Move that forward just. There we go. Okay, so we also have the Beowulf as an option. Cheaper, 18 million, but it does still count as a battleship. Um, and it is, it is much, much faster than the Odin. Okay, uh, save. Just so that we have options. Because I'm probably not going to be using these. <laughs> so the battle cruiser is basically going to be our... Armoured cruiser. Now, I don't want a huge one. Uh, oh, you get lots of sizes. One, two. In fact, I'm probably going to go for the smallest. Uh, this, this, this size. There we go. Ooh. Again, base accuracy. Want as much as we possibly can. Uh. Now, these things, I'm thinking more along the lines of them kind of rushing ahead. Uh, 28 smoke is not great. What about if we uh, induce the boilers? Oh, I can actually force the boilers as well if I want. Okay, so if I force the boilers, what can we get up to? Please don't be slower than the... They are. They're actually slower than the, the, the small. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, I'm going to say that they do 28.5, so at least they're the... Oops. So at least they're the same speed. You can get that back down to the smaller size. Maybe if I go minimum displacement. If I want them to be able to do 28.5... Yeah, we'll go for, we'll go for about... 19,500. How about that? Yeah, that works. So, smaller again. Oh, actually, they're slightly bigger than the Beowulfs. Hmm, interesting. Um, oh, we're with six guns. Rather than four, well, or not. Gives me a pretty enormous four weight offset if I do that. 
Hmm. These might also end up... Oh, actually, no, there might be a way I can do this. Might just be the wrong size. Could do a reverse... <laughs> a reverse design, basically. Well, not that it's actually reversed, but uh, I hope you know what I mean. We could go for something like that. So it just has a little bit more firepower. Oh, now I have four way offset. Oh, of course, because the stupid, uh, stupid casement guns. Ugh, jeez. No, it's four. So yeah, that's that's. I'll, I'll fix that later. Um, I know I'm gonna wait. Badly overweight. I don't think the battle cruisers can have the 13s. I think that's going to be have to be the compromise that I make. Uh, can I maybe go down to 12s? Mm, I guess be a bit closer. What about 11s. It really does make them basically a heavy cruiser at that point. Yeah, 11s pretty close. Still have full weight offset. Can I make these smaller? I kind of assuming that I had to go with uh, four inch. No, I can go with three inch. Oops. Balanced, we just need to get underweight. Uh, no way we need that much deck armor. Even in this era, that's uh, almost certainly excessive, especially on a ship like this, which I'm basically building as an armored cruiser um, rather than uh, a battle cruiser. I mean, you're still grumbling. Silly goose. Right. There we go. The nice now. Or nice now. 15 million. Okay, so cheaper again. Now, I have this thing and this thing. Now, these two hulls are absolute shit. And I'm not sure I want to even bother building anything for them. Um... You know they, they, you know they could potentially have something interesting in the form of a nine-inch gun, but I mean, two of them, yeah. This, this is this is just bad. So I'm going to skip that altogether. Now we've got the SA or the light. We'll go with the semi-armored. So we'll skip the armored cruiser altogether. Just not going to bother building a design for it. Um, these things though, these things can be useful even if they're not particularly brilliant. Might be useful at the very least for uh, shooing away torpedo boats with the abundance of three inch guns that you can fit on them. Uh, and 
given that, I'll probably stick with pretty small caliber, quote unquote, main guns. Yeah, we'll go with something like that. Fit some torpedo tubes. That will certainly help. Uh, funnels. Oh, this is the one that can go funnels for days. Just need to be careful I don't uh, go too crazy. Yeah, even two of those is seven smoke. Well, they're like literally the cheapest funnel. How many of those can I fit? Two. Are you serious? Okay. Ah. Smoke. Big problem at the moment. We'll go with that. Uh... Oh, wait, offset. Still a bit of an issue. We'll see if we can fix that later. We'll get everything else set up. Uh, how fast do these go? Probably not very fast without me uh, giving them a force boiler. And even then, probably still talking, what, 25 knots? Which is not, no, less. <laughs> 24 knots, which is, you know, pretty terrible. Um, th this is the thing with 1910. You know, you, your, your dreadnoughts are just going to absolutely outclass everything else you have. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they could prove useful. Hunting down convoys or, or something. Uh, let's go with. 18 inch fast torques. Uh, significantly underweight. Which is good. Which means I can either make this thing smaller and therefore cheaper. But uh, I think what I'll actually do <laughs> is give it some armor because I just noticed it has absolutely nothing. Uh, so. Uh, I want at least. Okay, never mind. Um, let's uh, max armor those five inch guns. Actually, one thing I could do. Just add another gun right on the back. <laughs> Helps with the balance issue. Can't quite fit in another one. I'll move this one right back. Okay, that's a bit more balanced. All right, um, six inch main belt, which is the maximum we can get. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a it's another max armored uh, max armored light cruiser. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, they're too much fun. Uh, they're not too expensive. 6.6 .6 million each. Much, much cheaper than the nice nails. Which is uh, all right. Save you. Oh, did I save the nice nails? I didn't need to remember to do that. And we can also bring destroyers or bring a DD1 because they will be useful. Uh, the V1. Okay. Uh, now with destroyers. To be honest, I don't think we need to be spending too much to get something halfway respectable because these things are mostly going to just kind of rush up and, and shoot stuff with torps. It doesn't mean they can't be useful though. Right. Okay. Uh, 
Go for a single funnel. Single funnel. Force the boilers. These things will be speedy. E exceptionally spe far too speedy. Right, induced. 39 knots. That is still ludicrously fast. Completely insanely fast, I would say. Wow, that is a compact little ship. Okay, uh, guns. Mm. Actually, I think it's. Th oh, really? I can't put a gun there. Outrageous. Oh, torpedo launchers then. Okay, be really cheeky and put on three. Single five inch gun right at the front. It's a lot of torps. As you put them on reduced. Ah, perfect. There we go. So single shot, six torpedoes, 18 inch fasts. Ooh, yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt a lot if we manage to get one of those things to shoot. Um not sure I can be bothered with too much else. We'll leave it on Pickrick 1. Cordite, why not? They're basically going to be uh, HE spam boats. Uh, give them a rangefinder, see if they can hit anything. Give them a little bit of armour. Not a lot. Just enough. And they are, well, they're not that cheap, but uh, three million. They, they, they could mess someone, they could mess someone up. Like that's a lot of torpedoes in a single, single strike. Okay, all the designs chosen. Let's see how much money we have. Uh, that's not too bad. How's our research looking? Uh, again, not not terrible. Uh, let's not assign any priorities. Just to leave it, because uh, if, you, if you see if you assign a priority, this goes from fifteen to eight months. But see how um, you know the, these ones all get pretty negatively affected. So you might see a little more text if I don't assign any priorities. Um, we're going to throw everything into crew training and transport because we need those to be going. Uh, shipyard size is actually fine right now because you know we have the Odins here. We are not too far off researching Crypt 3 which is pretty cool. But uh, I don't think we're going to unlock any new holes with that. And we've just gotten a new hole. So, yeah, I'm actually not going to invest into this too much. It'd be nice if we could build that up to 26,000. Uh, okay. Well, how about we go for a 30,000 <laughs> 30, tons? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm probably just... Hmm. Just want to even it out. So way to build eighteen hundred tons. Yes, there is. Okay. Ish. So that'll let us build twenty seven thousand ton ships. Um, tech budget. We'll we'll boost that as much as we can. I know it's not maybe not the optimal play, but uh, it'll it'll do. And that leaves us well a fair amount. Um, do we know what the British have? Yes, we do. They're four battleships. Okay, so we need we're going to need at least four to meet them. So let's build. One Odin. And three Beowulfs. 
because then we'll have parity. They have three battle cruisers. Uh, so we'll build a three. What? I'm already over my cost. God damn it, Germany. You start with such shit funds. Um, 12 million remaining. Okay. Um, so I can't build those now. I can build two Leipzigs. Or three. Just build a bunch of destroyers, I think. Mind you, they're the quickest to build. So let's build oh, one of them. I'm going to be blockaded immediately. God damn. Well, I did go heavy on the battleships, so, you know, that will have to do. Uh, port, I'm probably just going to stick them all in Hamburg. Yeah. All ships. Hamburg. Fine. So yeah, we're going to start off blockaded, which is not ideal, but uh, that, that's often how it goes for Germany. Right, it's hit up, start campaign. I'm not blockaded immediately. Okay, that's that's very nice. Okay, so we've got currently got a monthly balance of plus ten. That's really good. Um, I want to build some nice nows, so we'll lay down. So yeah, they've got three, but they've got a whole bunch of heavy cruisers. So we want we want a few of those. So I'm gonna order as many as I can. <laughs> yeah, as many as I can. Basically, just just keep building as many ships as I possibly can. Get some uh, light cruisers out. They take a while. 13 months. Will we build any destroyers? Yes, we can. Okay. So just, again, just keep 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 this going. And I'm just, again, just going to stick them all to Hamburg for now. Uh, and I'm going to keep my ships on in being for now. Well, we're going to wait for their crew level to go up. Um, until they're trained. And then we'll set them on sea control. Now we're blockaded. <laughs> I did. I was. I was surprised. Um, yeah, thirty-nine thousand power projection versus my nine thousand. Destroyer ambush on the Beowulf. Oh no. Okay. Let's let's try this out. Let's see if she's uh, capable of doing this. There are the enemy. What's the range on their torps? Oh god. Okay, very good. <laughs> some range. So we can find out about these uh, British destroyers a little bit. Can always go for a lucky hit. Four percent is not as terrible as it could be. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a hit on one of them. Pretty good hit as well. And that was just a four inch. I've got my standard shells on these ships. Um, we'll uh, maybe look into like heavy and super heavy stuff later, but standard's fine. Yeah, hit it with a 13. Go cadets. Pheasant shooting. Nice. 
Yeah, 26.9 knots. So they're actually slower than the Beowulf. That is fantastic news. Ooh. <laughs> oh, manly. Oh, no. <laughs> Not good for you, my friend. Again. Oh, that's got to sink it, surely. A few bulkheads. No, not quite. They're doing pretty well. On damage control, on the manly. Yes. Need to get a little bit closer so we can fire on the 4 inch. 6.4 kilometers out, 6.2 kilometer range on the four inch guns, which is interesting. So that means they have to come within, not far within, but the you know the four inch guns can shoot at destroyers that are in torpedo range. Actually, quite a good indicator that something is close enough, or will soon be close enough. No hits. Oh, took out their torpedo launcher. Come on, that's got to sink it, surely. How many torpedo launchers do they have? There we have a whole bunch. <laughs> really? Partial pen? Mind you, it was HE, I suppose. Standard torpedoes. Yeah, they do. I think. No, reduced. They have one shot. Ah, okay. If they only have one shot, we might be able to tempt them into doing something silly. So we can get them to shoot. them out of tools. Oh, come on, just hit the manly, please. Yeah, so manly's fired. So she's really not a threat to us anymore. Oh, we can see him at a reasonable distance. Okay. Cross-eyed. Come on! <gasps> this is... <laughs> I know they're, they're only cadets. It's fine, it's good practice. Good hit. No flooding. Oh, there we go. Finally a 4-inch gun gets it. Right, come on then. Think you're hard enough? Which I don't think the uh, Royal Navy is liking their chances. The pheasant is off. Westfall, really not keen either. But uh, you can't outrun me. Bad news for you. <laughs> One hit, basically. Do they have any armor at all, these ships? Oh, they do. Oh, my goodness. They're actually maximum armored destroyers. I don't think I've ever seen the AI do that. What an interesting design. How much are they? 1.7 million. Okay. Which one's closer? Slightly I think we're catching up to the pheasant. 
past it. That's where I want times 10 speed. Slowly closing in. Need to keep an eye on them. Ah, pheasant just fired. Slight course correction should uh, allow us to avoid. Yep. She is now no threat whatsoever. Try and hit the uh, the west vol with the main guns, and we'll let, try and hit the four inch guns onto the pheasant. Should be able to catch up to the pheasant relatively quickly. There's still another one out there that we haven't ID'd. It just seems to have run away. Yeah, 15 knots, catching up to her pretty fast. Three speed. Oh, you still had some left, did you? Sneaky. But uh, yeah, your torpedoes are not the best. We can spot them pretty easily. What kind of torps are they actually? Out of pure interest, probably get a good look at these destroyers while we can. Uh, Eighteen inch standard. Yeah, they only have the one shot from each launcher, but they have the two launchers. At least I think they have two launchers. They have three. Yeah, so they have a port and starboard and a dual on the on the aft. Sneaky. Harvey armor. Hmm. Steam multiple expansion engines. Light shells. Okay. Retarget the main guns. So they will be able to hit at this range. Unlike at 1890, which is nice. It's a little bit unfair, but. Uh Another destroyer goes down. All destroyer sunk is good, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no idea where that fourth one is. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's going to make the chase a bit easier. Back at the time five. Closing in much more rapidly now. They still have their torps. I should think they just find some. They do have one more. They basically have one torpedo left on the other side of the ship. Oh, another hit. I 
Oh, I might just about save them. Most of the rear of the ship is uh, pretty ruined. I'll open up a little bit, see if we can get both guns to fight. And they're still heading away. Reload time on these things. 52.2 seconds. Bye bye. I had to say enemy smoke to the southwest, but uh, I hope you'll forgive me for not hunting down that missing destroyer. We'll end the battle there. Lovely. One loss. <laughs> um, 446 enemy crew gone. Yeah, Beowulf did really well there. Barely any damage. Very nice. Probably going to need a little bit of time in, in port, yeah. But uh, the Steadfast... Oh, we did actually damage it. Must have been really early on. Okay. Well, there's the ambush done. <laughs> We've got two more fights. We've got a convoy. We've got a battle. Let's have a look. Battle, battleship versus battleship. Ooh, that looks fun. And a convoy. Jeez, that's that's a tough one. Uh, let's do the let's do the let's lay uh, out. Yeah, let's do that. Leipzig versus Hood and Scotsman. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. I mean, we do have a destroyer for backup, so... It will give us a look at the enemy battleship, which is, I think, going to be really helpful for the following fight. Okay, Leipzig, torpedoes off. V1, torpedoes off. Where are they? West. Okay, so, right in front of us. Leipzig is a little slow, but uh, fast enough to deal with transports. The V1, on the other hand, is a speedy, speedy thing. So I'm going to try and get a strike on that battleship. Wolf Northwest. Spotting Still not the best in 1910. There we go. What are we looking at? Okay. Two twin 13s. A twin 7. Six twin 9s. It's more of a semi-dreadnought than a dreadnought. Interesting. Not the easiest thing for a destroyer to attack. I'll, I'll, I'll be brutally honest. Um, kind of need to find those transports if you can. But sometimes you get lucky and the enemy transports are, in, you know, right there. And sometimes the battleship is right there. Oh, God. Smoke. B1, though. Well, all the, all the destroyers. Absolute speed demons. Perfect for this sort of thing. Oh, 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 not if you get hit by a torpedo, it's not. Oh, you sneaks. Must have been their uh, small ship. Oh, who also has torpedoes? Rather not lose the destroyer. Get those torpedoes in the water, please.
Thank you. Not all of them. Away yet. Just some. One and the rest. Fire. There we go. And run away. <laughs> now, that's a lot of torpedoes headed their way. Let's see what her anti torpedo protection is like. They're not the fastest things in the world. Use Cordite and Pickrick, so they might be a little bit explosive. Armor's okay. Anti torpedo 2. Not bad. State. Uh, yeah, they're not not the worst things in the world. Those uh, battleships. Yeah, it was a destroyer over there. I forgot about. The one. Try not to slam into the Leipzig. Thank you. Hood, pretty heavily damaged. A few bulkheads. Leipzig might just be able to get the kill here. And finish her off. Took you away. We'll miss. <laughs> of course it will. Right. V1, can you circle around and see if you can find the... Uh, See if you can find those transports. Leipzig, meanwhile, you're going to have to uh, continue to annoy the hood. Ow. Really can't afford to be losing too many ships this early on. But uh, where are your torpedo launchers, hood? Sides. Shit. Try a side and a rear launch. Side. Ah, they shoot on the other side as well. God damn it. That's what I was worried about. And the rear launcher. Come on. Thank you. Hood's still up, which is insane. Another hit. Which is nice. I think she would flood out, but apparently not. Let's see if we can get her again. Front launcher should be reloaded. Scotsman is actually a threat to the V1, so I'm not particularly wanting to tussle with it. And you have the V1 on spotting duty. Switch to AG, just shoot at Hood. I want Leipzig. Ah, she's got double launches on the side. Getting that. Right, Hood is not able to maneuver that much. Oh, come on. I wish you could tell the AI that <laughs> the enemy was going to do that. Because it is, like, you can kind of tell that's what they're going to do. 
to hit anyway, so I don't mind too much. Come on, will you please just sit? Okay, good to know that the uh, British battleships are actually very good at <laughs> resisting torpedo hits. Try and avoid the same situation. Again. Okay, battleship gone. Now that I can deal with. Now I know the destroyer is there, but it's saying enemy smoke to the north, so I think they're over this way. Because they do still have to either sink the Scotsman uh, or uh, sink the rest of the transports. But that that is brilliant. They only have four of those. Now they only have three. That put a big dent in their uh, blockading ability. I know V1's damaged, but uh, she's still able to do about 20 knots. More if they get the pumping on the way. Ah, oh, smoke's put to the east, goddammit. Kind of need to find those transports. I mean, I'll take a, a battleship kill, for sure, but uh, I kind of need to know where those transports are. Again, I wish, you know, wish you had another pip on the time, on the speed. Wet ship. V1 southeast. Of course, with cadets, chance of uh, getting any damage control pretty low. Southeast again. Still on times 10. I think I'm going to have to enter it. Annoyingly. I guess the, the hood did her job in protecting the convoy, but uh, cost of uh, losing the hood. Hmm. Wow, she has a, that's a big crew. Four, 1,400. How's that compared to our own battleships? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of crew. Ooh, interesting. Right, and let's do that. Ah, it's the Odin. It's our flagship versus the Thunderer. Should be good. To the west, just have to watch out for those pesky, pesky torpedoes. So I can't get too close, but uh, we have an advantage in big guns. And speed as well, I think. Come on, where are you? Around 
around here somewhere. Yeah, battleship. <laughs> Come on. Of course, spotting on the uh, Odin's probably not great. Be that close because I'm still on times ten. Uh, if I'm going to end up just steaming away for half an hour, there's no point. No point at all. Come on. Where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What a fight, do a battleship fight. I'd be just heading away from me and starting at 50 kilometers or something stupid. Ugh. It's a non fight. Yeah, non fight. I'm not, I'm not fighting fights like that where there's no sign of the enemy. Sadly. Uh,. That'll be it for this episode, but uh, a very successful, very successful start indeed, I feel, for the Germans. Well, I've just noticed we've got a couple of battleships here in Kiel. Uh, I'm just going to move them to Wilhelmshaven. Uh, Beowulf, who's under repair. Okay. Because I don't need any ships over in the Baltic. And then we, uh, we got two in, in Hamburg. Where are the other ships then? <laughs> Pilau. Oh, it's got, I've got some way over here. For goodness sake. Uh, oh, they're both are under repairs. And maybe that they've just gone there because that's where the that's the closest port they were at. Anyway, we'll we'll sort all that next time, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to fighting. That's a good good first turn though, even if we do only have two ship, two or three ships um, available. Good showing by uh, good, good showing, just generally a good showing by Beowulf especially, really well. Um, I think the Leipzig and the V1 showed what they can do. Nice. Anyway, I'll see you next time for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.